From the Municipal Stadium in Baltimore, the San Francisco 49ers clash with the Baltimore Colts for 60 minutes of the greatest thrills in football. Stay tuned now for professional football. Hello, everybody. This is Gordy Solto in Baltimore, Maryland, here at Memorial Stadium, where this afternoon the Baltimore Colts and the 49ers square off in a game that's always a traditional battle. The Colts currently leading the Western Division with a 6-2 record. Had a rest last week after a close finish in defeating the Chicago Bears. The 49ers, with a 4-4 four four record, defeated the Dallas Texans in Dallas 26-14. The edge in victories over the years of play are 9-6 in favor of the 49ers, but currently the Baltimore Colts have won two national championships and are well on their way to the third. And now here to bring you the official introductions of the 49ers is Bob Fouts. Thank you, Gordy Soltai. You see the crowd, a tremendous, typical sellout crowd, a boisterous crowd, and here are the 49ers being introduced. Number 88, Clyde Connor at left end, 6-2-190, five-year man, COP. At left tackle, Johnny Thomas from COP also, 6'4", 246 pounds, 25 years, three-year-old veteran. Here's Bruce Mosley, 6'2", 240, 26 years old, five-year veteran, West Virginia. The center, Frank Morsey, 6'4", 264, 27 years old, four-year man, Boston College. The right guard, number 62, the rookie from Missouri, Mike Majak, 6'2", 240. And right uh, tackle and captain of the 49ers, Bob St. Clair. There he is, 6'9", 265, biggest man in pro football, eight-year veteran, USF. And at right end, number 85, the All-American from Notre Dame and first draft choice of the 49ers, Monty Stickles, number 85, 6'4", 240. The quarterback will be John Brody, and here's John, 6'1", 186 pounder, four-year man from Stanford. The left half will be J.D. Smith, number 24, soil fullback, playing in the halfback spot, 6'1", 201, five-year veteran, North Carolina A&T. The flanker back, number 27, R.C. Owens, 6'3", 190, four-year man, College of Idaho. And uh, coming out, number 32 will be C.R. Roberts, who scored from 20 yards out last week. C.R. Roberts is 6'3", weighs about 205 pounds. Those are the offensive men for the 49ers. Now the Colts will be introduced between two lanes of their bands, and you'll be seeing them in just a moment as the rest of the 49ers come out on the field. The 49er bench across the way, the 49ers in white uniforms, and the Colts will be, of course, in their blue uppers with uh, white pants. There you see the 49er bench, Gordy, and you can just feel the excitement in this crowd, can't you? Well, this is a tremendously partisan crowd, as it'll be better than uh, almost 58,000. It holds 57. 808, but they have standing room all over the place, and I would imagine we'll have close to 60,000 here at Memorial Stadium. It's a beautiful day, about 57 degrees, with uh, no wind. Well, this is sort of San Francisco weather, and I understand on the coast in reverse, they've had it kind of bad. Now, here are the Colt lineup. Offensive left end, Ray Berry, 82, 6'2", 190. The leading pass receiver in the league has caught 52 passes. And a total of nine touchdowns. Jim Parker, 6'3", 275, number 77 from Ohio State, four-year man. 63, Art Spinney, 6'1", 236, nine-year veteran, Boston College. The center, Madison Nutter, number 50, 6'4", 240, 29-year-old veteran from BPI, in his seventh year with the Baltimore Colts. The right guard, Alex Sandusky, number 68, 6'3", 238, seven-year man from Clarion. The right tackle number 60, you see, George Prius, P-R-E-A-S, 6'2", 255, six-year veteran BPI. And the right end, another Notre Dame man, number 84, is Mutt Scheller, 6'1", 204 pounds, seven-year man, Notre Dame. He's caught 10 passes for the Colts this year and two touchdowns. And here's your quarterback, Johnny Unitas, listen to his hand. Johnny Unitas, the leading uh, passer as well as touchdowns are concerned in the league with 19, 6'1", 194. Here is Alex Hawkins, two-year man from South Carolina, 6'1", 190. The flanker back, Lenny Moore, big hand for Lenny. And the fullback, 35, Alan Amici, 6'1", 220, the big horse from Wisconsin. And a few boos mixed in with the chairs. There's the offensive unit of the Baltimore Colts. As they've been introduced, and in just a moment, we'll see the captains meet the officials in the center of the field, and the game will be underway. Well, Gordy, there you see Red Hickey and the 49er captain, Bob St. Clair. In a moment, we'll have that flip of the coin, the reenactment of the flip. Understand that Baltimore win and, win and will receive. Gordy, there they are. 
Well, Gino Marchetti, representing the Colts as their captain, is meeting in the center of the field. Two ex University of San Francisco graduates talking with head official Pace, John Pace, who will do the calling today. The Colts have won and will receive. The 49ers will kick off from our right, which is the south end of this memorial field here in Baltimore, Maryland. We're on the west side. The Colts will be on the left, which is the north. There's, we said earlier, very little breeze blowing here. Tommy Davis getting ready to set up the ball. This Baltimore Colt team, very explosive, high scoring. But Johnny Unitas at the helm, who has now thrown touchdown passes in 45 consecutive games, as the Colts currently on the top of the heap in the Western Division with six and two record. And now here's Bob Fouts for the play-by-play. -play. There's Johnny Sample, 44, and Tass of 23 to kick off return men. Number one in the league is Sample. He has a 33-yard average. He ran one back 94 yards high for the air. The ball game is underway. Davis sending this one into the end zone about four yards deep. Tassif will return to the 5, to the 10, to the 15. And he's hit by uh, Lenny Lyles, number 26 initially, as he crosses the 15, gets to about 17 or 18-yard line. Only football player or fan wouldn't be human if he were in this stadium and didn't feel the tension that's mounting here as the fans have already sensed the fact that the Baltimore Colts, if they go on, uh, will be well on their way to their third Western Division title and possibly their third National League title. Starting lineups as we gave them to you, Johnny Unitas, first to 10 in his own 18, has Lenny Moore flanked wide to the left. The ends are tight. Now shifting the fullback spot is Amici. Here is Unitas, and a fumble in the backfield, and Mertens falls on the ball carrier, Hawkins, as he fumbled that handoff back in about the 12-yard line. So the first play offensively, and a fumble, but Hawkins able to fall on it. The ground looks particularly hard, doesn't it, Gordy, out here today? Well, this will be a real fast track. On that particular play with a tight end and no flanker on the right side, Jerry Mertens was right on the line of scrimmage, and it looked like we had four linebackers as they were ready to catch that off-tackle slant. Linebackers are Kelly Harrison and Hazeltine. All right, Lenny Moore flanks the right side. Second at 16, back in the 12 for the Colts. Our second offensive play. Amici shifting in the fullback spot. Barry is spread the left this time. Unitas to pass. Looking for Barry on a look in. He can't get it as he's tackled immediately by Woodson. And that was a fine defensive play by Abe that time. And the crowd, Gordy, booing just a little, thinking that Abe might have committed an interference there. Well, the number one pass receiver in the National League, Ray Barry, running it up and in pattern, had Abe Woodson right on his back. And as that ball got 